So we have two cars that drive for 30 seconds. Uh, the red car starts at rest and accelerates at four meters per second squared. The blue car starts at 65 meters per second and doesn't accelerate. And we want to know which car drives farther. The one that starts out at rest and accelerates or the one that starts moving but doesn't accelerate. Okay, so we need to, as always, start by figuring out our givens. Um, and we've got to be a little bit careful here because we have two different objects, right? The red car and the blue car. So we'll make sure that we uh, label which givens go with which car so that we don't get confused. Um, so uh, we've got a red car and a blue car. Which, uh, let's start with the red car. What givens do we have for the red car? Uh, time. Time. Yeah, we have the time, right? How long it drives for. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yeah. What else do we have for the red? Um, we got the initial velocity. Yeah, initial velocity. What's the initial velocity for the red car? That's zero. Zero, right? Red car starts at rest. And one more given for the red car. What else do we know for the red? We've got... Velocity. It's not velocity, right? Look at the unit. Acceleration. It's acceleration, right? Because it's meters per second squared, right? So that's how we can tell it's acceleration. Right, it accelerates at four meters per second yes. squared. So the acceleration for the red car is four meters per second squared. Okay, uh, now let's look at the blue car. Right, what, what givens do we have for the blue car? Is there anything um, to say? The delta tank as well. Yeah, this, they, they both drive for 30 seconds, right? So the time for the blue car is also 30 seconds. What else? Do we have the initial velocity of the blue car? For the red, it was zero, but it's not zero for the blue car, right? 65. That's 65, right? The blue car's initial velocity is 65 meters per second. Meters per second. But I think it's also for the final, right? Uh, well, for the blue car, right. It's not accelerating, so you're right. So it's, it's mm -hmm. final is going to be 65 as well. Um, so we could put that down for a given, but I think it'll be easier if we use the same givens for each of the car because we know the acceleration for the blue car, right? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't accelerate, what's the acceleration AX have to be? It's going to be zero. Zero. Right, so that's that's the givens that we'll use. We could use that the final velocity is 65 meters per second as well. Um, but if we do it this way, we will um, we'll have the same equation for both cars, and that'll be a little bit easier to, to work with. Um, so we've got the we've got the givens for for each of the for the red car and the blue car. Uh, what's the unknown? What are we trying to find out for each of these? distance yeah the distance right how far they go so so we want the delta x for each of them right. so we've got the same set of givens and the same unknown so we're going to use the same equation for for each of these cars um, which equation is it that's going to give us our displacements which equation has time initial velocity acceleration and displacement in it. The second one. Second one, let's see. Second one has time, initial velocity, acceleration, but not displacement. Um, yeah, we don't have that. Thing. So second one's not gonna do it. It's a third one. Is the third one, that's right, right? The third one here has delta T, VXI, AX, and delta X. 
So for the third one. So initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. And we don't need to rearrange, right? Because we're looking for delta x, uh, but we do need to do it twice, right? We've got to do it once for red, and once for blue. So I'll write the equation for it twice. All right, so since we don't need to rearrange, we can just go ahead and pluck numbers in for each of them and see, and see what we get. So for the red car, the red car of the VXI was zero, right? So we started at rest, so zero times anything is gonna be zero, so this whole piece is zero and we don't need to worry about it. So we're just gonna have the one half times the acceleration, which is four meters per second squared, times the time uh, squared, which is 30 seconds. So if I plug that in for the red car, I get one half times four times 30 squared equals 1800. So 1800 meters for the red car. Uh, and then we have to check the blue car as well. So for the blue car, um, this time the VXI isn't zero, right? Our VXI for the blue car is 65 meters per second times the time, which is 30 seconds. But then when we get to this half, right, for the blue car, the acceleration is zero. So one half times zero times anything squared, right? That's all multiplied by zero. So that this time the second half is gonna be zero and that's not gonna add anything. So when I put in the calculator, I just need to do 65 times 30. And the blue car looks like it goes 1950 meters. All right, so it looks like the blue car goes farther by a little bit, by 150 meters.